So, for Jeremiah, in spite of all he looked like from the beginning, God assured him what he had in him. The scripture also told us how God promised Abraham. In fact, at the point Abraham told God, God, don't worry, I have gotten Ishmael from this woman who adopt Ishmael as he has your promise for us. Say, no, I'm going to bless Ishmael because he came from you. But Ishmael is not what I promised. I promise you that from Sarah's womb, you are going to have a child. Abraham looked at it and laughed. And that's when God told him, okay, you're going to have a generation that will go to a foreign land and they are going to come back. God is going to use one, one word to confirm two promises. Say, I promise you the land I will give you. I promise I will make you a father and nation. So it's going to come to pass. I'm going to send your children away to a place so that the people that are on the land I want to give them will have sinned enough. And that is a message to all of us. If you continue to do what God does not want, a day of judgment is going to come. But if you repent, then you'll be redeemed. So somebody is waiting to take over from you if you begin to do what God does not want. It doesn't matter who you are. So God has to assure him. And you see, in Genesis 18, it's a sweet story from verse 10. If you read Genesis 18 from verse 10 to 14, the scripture says that Abraham saw three men. He was led to invite them to his house and he was hosting them. And that's why it's nice to be nice. Be hospitable. That's what the Bible says in, in uh, Hebrew 13. Tell you should be hospitable. Now, he hosted them and they told him that, look, your wife Sarah is going to have a child. And Sarah laughed. How can you talk about this? How can you talk about a child? He said, Sarah said, I am no longer like a woman. The things that make a woman woman is no longer with me. Abraham, my husband, is no longer, is retired from this business too. And I said, we're going to have a child. And she laughed. And the scripture says, the angel of the Lord said, God spoke through me to you and you laugh about it, then the name of your child is going to be laughter, indeed. And you know the end of the story. But the sweetest part of it, just like our talk, you see, it, and it, and it came to pass. In 21, Genesis 21, I read 6 and 7, 6 and 7, Genesis 21, Sarah said, God has made me happy. And everyone, reading this story, everyone who hears about this will be happy with me. No one thought that I, Sarah, would be able to have Abraham's child. But I have given him Abraham, I have given Abraham a son, even though he is old. So don't worry about human factors. Don't worry about time. Don't worry about many other things. What you should be conscious about, if God says it, he will do it. The Lord bless you.